Hello everyone, I am going to make the presentation on introduction to safety instrumented system. This presentation is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly subscribe to the channel. What is safety instrumented system? A safety instrumented system detects abnormal process condition and brings it back to a safe condition without human intervention. In the process plants, normally a DCS distributed control system is working and doing the plant automatic operations. Whenever any hazardous conditions arise and a DCS control system cannot able to cont contain, then the SIS system comes into action. The predefined action that SIS must take without human intervention when an out of control process demand is placed upon is called a safety instrument function. SIS system is comprised of sensors, logic solvers and final control elements. All these things put together is acting upon any particular hazard. So, the complete process is known as SIF, safety instrumented function. I will go over the synapses of the SIS system. SIS stands for safety instrumented system. Typically, SIS is a separate SIL certified control system. SIL stands for safety integrity level. We will be discussing this in the forthcoming presentations. SIS sensors, logic solver and final control element which is valves are to be certified by approved international safety agencies as per international standards. In the earlier presentations, we saw the international standards by IEC, ISA and C like that agencies. They formulate the standards which is being certified by another set of agencies known as safety agencies uh, based on which only the manufacturers has to produce the products and then install in the safety instrument system. Okay, SIS reputed manufacturers include Modicon, Tricon, they are produced by a company known as Schneider Electric Company, Siemens Safety PLC, HEMA, Honeywell Functional Safety Controller, Delta V Safety System, etc. These are the different manufacturers who are making such safety instrumented system. This is for our basic understanding. Safety instrument system action, we will just understand it basic simple way like what we do in our day to day life. Here in this picture, the car is being driven in a highway. The green zone is a normal drive area wherein the car has to be driven. So, in an analogy to the process industry, we are giving it as an area of influence of the BPCS, basic process control system. So, the car has to be driven in a highway within the green zone. Similarly, in the process industry, the BPCS keep the process into the green area. Whenever there is any hazard happening, though there is a chance of BPCS which cannot control the hazard. So, the safety instrumented system needs to come in action. So, this yellow zone, whatever you are saying, is the SIS area. So, in the similarly, in the process plant, the safety instrumented system takes a control and prevent the hazards. So, just as an analogy, we are seeing from the road highway example, the safety instrumented system keeps a chemical process from going into an unsafe zone. Okay. We will go over the safety instrumented system details, process related P and ID. A safety instrumented system is a combination of sensors, logic solvers and final control elements. Sensor, logic solver and final control element. Sensors actually what they do, they measure the flow, pressure, temperature etc. This is sensing from the process and measures the pressure, flow and temperature and various other parameters. SIS sensors detect an out of limit ab abnormal process conditions. 
if you see in this particular vessel there is a temperature transmitter which is ducting whenever the temperature is going high than the desired limit okay logic solver performs logical functions controller does necessary logic action actually this is a logic solver which is known as plc programmable logic controller and the logics are built in over here and it is acting based on the some high temperature or high high flow or high pressure whatever it is and taking an action to give a command to this particular valve to close it final elements on off valve to shut off the flow in the process so this is the one see the stream is coming inside into this reboiler vessel shut off valve which is known as a ebv also emergency block valve and in this particular and id this is the final element so whenever the temperature exits over here in this uh, distillation column it this is detected by this sensor and then the logic solver is having an internal logic built in so which is sending an output command because whenever the temperature exits it should not further admit the steam so if it is happening continuously steam temperature inside the column will go high and there are chances of explosion so to avoid and safeguard that uh, this distillation column this ebv takes into action and shuts the stream so the final elements brings the process to a safe condition by closing the relevant cis valve or ebv without any human intervention what are we are seeing over this here all this being taken care automatically without any human intervention okay we will just go over an overview how does it look sensors this is a logic solver this is a final element sensors are what the transmitters what we saw earlier which measure the pressure flow temperature in in some cases it is measuring the current power from switch gear all these is known as sensors and logic solver programmable logic controller wherein the programs are built they are having different uh, kind of uh, programs like like ladder logic function block diagram etc so which is being programmed into this logic solver the microprocessor based in it and it work based on the built in logic and then gives a command to the final control elements which is valves here in our case this is this is shown as a butterfly valve so normally why it is shown in double cuz some process requirements may need two valves to operate for one log particular logic similarly the sensors are triple they are known as triple uh, two out of three because we saw one temperature uh, transmitter in the previous uh, small pnid similarly there will be two more so that particular thing will be having two out of three out voting so whenever two temperature elements goes high based on which logic solver will work and then give a final command to the final element uh, logic solver this is uh, normally supplied by reputed companies like modicon siemens triconex hanivel emerson etc they are the popular manufacturers and we are just going over a independent protection layer view this will be de discussed in detail in the forthcoming presentations just for an outline view i am just briefing it over here it's a process the normal process and bpcs which is basic process control system which is the next layer and critical alarms operator supervision and manual intervention this is the which is in green this is the next level whenever the temperature limit goes high there is an alarm coming and then the operator will take an action at the next level only we are having this system which is uh, taking a preventive action to prevent the hazards and further if the sys system also cannot contain the hazard then we have physical protection layers like relief devices pressure relief valve pressure safety valve etc and further we have the physical protection devices like dikes and further we have the plant emergency response and community emergency response all these things we will be going to study in detail but for our basic understanding i have just explained it over here thank you